today I'm going to do a little video on the uh, Higgs boson, considering uh, everybody's been talking about it lately. <coughs> I wanted to talk about some possible applications of the Higgs boson. Before that, I wanted to get into the, some hypothetical assumptions that you'd have to make before uh, these applications would be possible. Um, the first one is that the Higgs boson and Higgs fields are demonstrable or demonstrable. Uh, the t that we have uh, the capacity for technological manip manipulation of the Higgs boson and the Higgs field and the mastery of the Higgs bo boson and the Higgs field and the power revolution that we would need to be able to use uh, these applications. Alright, I'll start off with uh, the beneficial applications. I'll go through these one by one and give you a small uh, explanation of each. Artificial gravity. Well, that's kind of self explanatory and what would its applications be well if we decide that we're going to go to space it would be nice to have some form of artificial gravity and the Higgs boson uh, and the manipulation thereof would allow for that um, the Higgs shield or anti-gravity this would also be beneficial when getting into space because if you are on the side of the planet that uh, I should uh, let me restate that uh, let's say the planet is going in one direction. You want to be on the opposite side of that pl of the planet. Uh, activate uh, uh, this Higgs shield, and you would literally come off the planet. You wouldn't move at all. The planet would move away from you. Um, number three, the possibility for warp drive because you could condense space in the front of the ship and expand it in the back of the ship using a Higgs field by manipulating the gravity uh, thereby and through that that's how you create warp drive being able to move space and, and the ship being in the space but you move the space because only nothing can go faster than the speed of light and space is well technically nothing on a normal physics scale um, a massless storage. Uh, imagine, you know, being able to move uh, uh, huge storage units that have no mass. In other words, they have no weight, hardly at all, or, li or at least limited weight. You know, you'd want to have some, or otherwise you'd just go flying off the planet. But uh, at least uh, less mass storage. Uh, better particle accelerators would be one of them because uh, if you could reduce if you completely eliminate the mass of the particle then getting it up to near the speed of light would be easy because it is the mass that uh, requires you to use so much energy to get the matter uh, to uh, near the speed of light so it would give us better uh, particle accelerators and would give us better uh, element synthesizing uh, because uh, you would be able to move a proton or a move a uh, neutron uh, faster and being able to collide it into a uh, another um, element and increasing its size so better element synthesizing uh, it would help with asteroid mining because if you could create a field <coughs> like a shield like the Higgs shield around uh, an asteroid considering that only gravity holds most asteroids together you the the asteroid would literally come apart and you could pick apart and pick the things out of the asteroid that you actually wanted um number eight this one goes way out there more uh more plausible construction of a dyson sphere i'll leave a link in the bottom that's a very exciting idea it would revolutionize everything if we could build a dyson sphere around the star um, think infinite energy until that star decided it wanted to just go you know till the star the star used all its fuel so those are some of the beneficial applications now the destructive applications are enormous as well uh, destructive applications all right a Higgs beam which would increase uh, the mass of something to destructive levels and we could take this from a person si you know from a smaller size of like a human or a building and increase its size until it just cannot sustain the weight and collapses all the way to the side to planets and stars where uh, you could uh, you could have crushing gravity to the point where nothing could live on the planet or or cause a star to go supernova or at least nova 
by making gravity win against the pressure uh, from uh, uh, the reaction uh, from the nuclear force that is pu that pushes the pressure outwards. Uh, you, or you could do the reverse with a planetary destabilization by creating a, a, like a Higgs shield around a planet considering um, gravity is what holds planets together uh, and, and by doing this making everything on the planet massless the planet would just come apart it would just rip itself to pieces it would just float apart basically and you it would also deorbit the planet because the planet would no longer be affected by the pull of gravity from its uh, parent star uh, number three star dis destabilization through the uh, the Higgs um, uh, through another kind of Higgs through a Higgs shield uh, making the um, gravity uh, less and the pressure would literally push all the material from the star out uh, and an, an explosion compared to the Higgs beam which would cause an implosion and then cause a, a nova or a supernova depending on the size of the star uh, number four, the creation of a black hole through the Higgs beam. If you were able to take enough Higgs, Higgs particles, uh, Higgs bosons, and focus them on a small area, on a small object, and put enough of them in there, it is plausible, uh, now this is all theoretical, that you could create a black hole by creating so much gravity on this one object. The object would obviously start crushing itself. <coughs> but you could theoretically cause a black hole uh, by this and an another thing that you could do is create a Higgs shield around like our supermassive black holes and cause them to completely evaporate um, these are some of the destructive applications I mean you could do the same thing with a black hole I, I should have added that to my benefits but I was running out of room uh, if we found a black hole coming towards us and we put one of these uh, Higgs shields around it, it would make this thing evaporate. The singularity would just evaporate because there wouldn't be the gravity there to hold it together. So it would just evaporate and everything would come out all at once. And maybe we would see the first signs of a white hole through this, through this kind of technology. Um, in conclusion, the mastery of the force of gravity has many benefits and colossal destructive capabilities. While this is all very exciting, we should take extra precautions when dealing with these new technologies as they arise, as they could be our saving grace or our ultimate demise. Either way, once we start taking these steps into these technologies, it will undoubtedly change the way we live for the rest of our existence. This is Darkanis saying, uh, do your research. Uh, always do your research. Uh, look at the data and draw your own conclusions and do the math if applicable.